Hello tribe, hello, hello, and welcome to my portal, portal of abundance, of alignment with the soul, portal of true freedom of your, your soul, true freedom that you receive in your body and mind when you truly align with who you are, which is the creator. So I want to say a couple of words, okay, about important aspect of manifestation and living consciously as a creator. And that is basically the fact that you need to stop giving the power to other people to dictate your life. You need to stop being constantly influenced by other people's moods, opinion, perspectives, okay? Their energy, whatever you want to call it. You need to connect so deeply to yourself that you have a sense of integrity and connectedness with the truth of who you are, okay? Please go and check out the videos after this video, uh, how to align with the soul and a lot of, just a lot of videos, guys, just a lot of wisdom and abundance and love on this channel is flowing through me and I just need to express it to, to you. So, two signs of codependency, codependency, okay? Two signs of codependency. You either are constantly affected by other people and you allow them to affect the way you create your reality or you, get, you expect from them, okay? So you either are influenced by them and that makes you block, that brings limitations. It can also bring good things, okay? Uh, but I'm, I'm talking about the more the shadow work that we as a humanity are going through or the negative aspects because there is still a lot of things to shift within the humanity and that will bring the positivity, okay, forward. So you either are influenced constantly by other people and you blame it on other people, you put the responsibility on other people um, of how you feel, how your life is going, how, how you create a reality, okay? Or you expect from other people to, to make you feel in a certain way, okay? Those are two signs of codependency, big codependency. And what it means is that you codepend on other people, right? You're codependent. So it means basically that you are not able to create your reality freely and in full connectedness to who you truly are. It means that you need constantly someone in your life to, to drag you like to, to drag this person or those people with you on the, the journey, right, of your own creation. You are the creator, guys. You are the creator. You're fully independent. You need to fully align with that independency. And that's how we can connect. And I will keep repeating, it, re repeating that. Um, yeah, I'll keep repeating that. That we will then only connect um, in interdependency but first everyone needs to align with the fact that they're creator align with the soul align with the soul align with their creators energy creator energies you can go and explore a lot of videos here in this channel i talk about sexual energies which are connected to the creator energies how to transmute them how to use them how to understand them how to understand the sexual energy exchange how to align with the soul, how to understand your ego, how to get out of the ego, how to use your mind in a powerful way so you'll start manifesting the life that you want. So when you want to consciously create your reality, right, um, you need to just 100% awaken spiritually. Awaken that you create. You create with your thoughts, with your intentions, you dictate how you feel, you can change your feelings, you can change the, the emotions, right? You can change the energy always. Not in a forced way, not in a way that, you know, there are some things that you might allow yourself to feel and it's okay. But I explore all those topics in other videos, how to also be the observer of your emotions. So, um, awaken awaken stop giving other people the power to create a reality 
Maybe you have an idea. Maybe you want to create something and you hear some limit limitations coming from other people, right? Or you, you, heard, you heard some perspectives coming from other people. Or maybe someone came um, and was in a mood that you, that you didn't want to be affected by, but it affected you, okay? Do not allow those things to affect you. You need to have a strong frame, a strong frame, okay? Strong frame of what you want to create. This is one of, way, this is one of the ways of manifestation, one of the things that I feel is important to talk about in terms of manifestation and living consciously. You can also check the other aspect of that conscious life, which is being the pure observer and just being purely. And why people are constantly affected by other people. Why people are constantly giving the power externally to, to different, different things externally. Whether it's religions or whatever. People, situations, whatever that is. Why people constantly give this power externally. Because they didn't align with who they are, okay? They didn't align with who they are. Here, you're the creator, okay? You are the creator, Align with the soul. Align with the soul. Align with who you truly are. Align with your essence. Go deep. Go deep. Deep, 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 far. Deep, deep and far, far within yourself. Okay, I want to say something else. Um, no, I think I said everything, basically. Aha. Yeah, because I started talking about the other aspect of manifestation, which is being fully present, just being in the observer point of view, then you don't have any triggers, right? This is the spiritual awakening that you go through when you connect to the consciousness that you are, the soul that you are, and you get out of the ego. That's another aspect of how you consciously manifest. You do not get so triggered even by other people's moods and opinions and anything because you're just purely observing, okay? But besides that, there is still this aspect that I really wanted to point out in this video, which is you need to first be independent in yourself in order to connect in interdependency with other people. So you make yourself happy, that's it. You do not lower your standards for other people, okay? You do not become something that you do not resonate with just because someone came with a certain energy, okay? No, you have your own sense of structure, you have your own sense of self and you do not change yourself. Obviously, if, if it's expansion in a positive way, then yeah. But you do not allow other people to take you, okay, just like that and just influence you. No, like you need to work on the stillness within. And that's why I highly recommend to... Um, yeah, checking out my other videos. And also, if you uh, want me to make like certain like specific videos with maybe step by step, how can I do it? Like maybe examples, how you can do it. Let me know, okay? I'm here to guide you. I'm here to support you. I'm here to bring you closer to your self-mastery. I, I am so passionate about all sorts of things. Um, performing arts, that's what I do. Uh, I'm connecting basically everything together, sound, movement. Um, I'm very interested in sacred geometry, uh, which we can explore as well on this channel. Uh, basically a lot of things, healing, everything, empowerment, uni union within, twin flame consciousness, uniting the divine feminine and divine masculine within yourself, spiritual awakenings, kundalini risings, how to use and like how to heal your body, how to do um, past regressions, how to align with your higher self. Guys, anything, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to guide you. So it's my honor, it's my pleasure. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here and see you in my next video. Bye, I love you.